I wanted to do research with veterans because I've been doing research in traumatic brain injury for the last 30 years. And we have learned more in the past 10 years about how to restore cognitive brain function than all the years cumulative. 360,000 is how much the Pentagon is predicting is coming back with brain injuries. Our research team is so dedicated to figuring out not just what's wrong with the brain, but how can we take advantage of what is really strong and working there. So it's comprehensive, it's multi-dimensional. We not only care at the time of the injury, but we want to know long term, are they remaining at this high level of performance? We see ourselves really as kind of the first stop place to address the toughest questions to bring brain health to the warriors. You know, I'm just a, uh, a guy that's been real blessed to have some unique opportunities, both athletically and then operationally. You know, having had an opportunity to play football uh, at the collegiate level and then a little bit in the professional level, not, not very much. And then to have followed that career with an operational career in the special operations community. So, you know, I've, I've kind of had this um, multi-decade experience uh, in some, some pretty physically challenging environments. And hey, we live in an impact world. In the special operations community, in the military community, in football, it's an impact world. And so a byproduct of that is gonna be impact. So do something with it. Don't pretend it's not there. You know, too many people are dependent on you to act like everything's okay when it's not. If you, if, you know, match these parallels between being in the special operations community and being an athlete, Everyone thinks that strength and conditioning program was meant to make you strong. It was really not. If you talk to the best strength and conditioning coaches uh, in pro sports, what they tell you is a strength and conditioning program is meant to make you injury resistant. You know, I, I've always viewed the center of brain health as a place to get strong, a place to become you know, resilient and resistant to the injuries that are just a byproduct of what we do. For me, it's simply a performance deal. I'm like, hey, listen, I have an obligation to be good at what it is I'm trying to do and how to fully exploit every moral, legal, and ethical advantage that I can get. For me, what's exciting is this treatment, I fully expect 90% of the participants to benefit from the training. That's powerful.